Welcome to the wonderful world of old Apple computers. Today we're going to dial a BBS in 2014. We're doing pulse dialing because the modem in this machine only supports pulse dialing. No tone for this thing. It's also only got a 300 baud modem. Now, see how blazingly fast those graphics show up on the screen? It's amazingly fast. I mean, I can almost type that fast. Seriously. Now, it's asking what kind of terminal we have. We're telling it we have an ANSI terminal, but that's not exactly right. And it's asking if we can see ANSI graphics. We're going to tell it no, but as you see, it's going to try and spit out ANSI graphics here anyway, even though it knows we can't because I told it we can't. Now, see how slow this is? It's displaying the little blurb at the beginning of the uh, BBS. If you don't know what a BBS is, it stands for Bulletin Board System. Before the days of cheap internet, or even commonplace internet, people would just hook their computers up uh, to a phone line with a modem and have them answer. And then they would set up message boards on them. And you could chat with friends, you could trade files back and forth, uh, I just have a good time. I mean, you know, share pretty much anything. Text files were a common thing. Go to textfiles.com to see a little bit of that scene. But anyway, BBSs were very popular. I was very active on a number of BBSs. But one of the things that was a problem for BBSs was um, long distance. You could only dial, unless you wanted to pay long distance charges, you could only dial local BBSs. Now, we're going to actually connect up to this BBS because I have an account with them. This one here is the Empire of the Dragon out of uh, Colorado, apparently. I don't know. I just looked on the internet for BBSs that were still active, dialed like 50 of them, and then found, I think, three so far that actually work. But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and log in. As soon as it gets us to the login screen, here's the login screen, so let's log in punch my username in, and then the password. Okay, now as you note here, it's switched to using a simplified graphic system that I can actually see. Because in the uh, preferences, I set that I cannot do color. During the login, it ignores the fact that you tell it you can't do color and just does it anyway. But here it actually goes through and lets you do, you know, non-color, because this is an old machine. It's a very old machine. And we're still waiting for all the little prompts, the little menus, just the little messages. It's literally going to take us several minutes just to connect up to this place. And then it's going to ask us if we want to read our mail, if we have any. And we just kind of wait. This is usually the time when I was a kid I'd go and make a sandwich and come back. Okay, let's continue. And you see how slow that is? I have mail in my mailbox! Awesome! And there's no winner yet. That's good. Woohoo! And I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Let's continue. It's drawing something, but it's probably trying to use, you know, uh, color codes here again, which it shouldn't be, but it is. Yeah, because I can't make that out. Anyway, the whole point being is, even in 2014, you can still use an Apple II computer to connect up to the internet, or to connect up to a BBS, and I actually did have it dialed into a shell account earlier today, so I was actually on the actual internet using, oh it's a dragon, oh that's awesome, but I was on the actual internet using this Apple II, using a Unix shell. That is a very cute dragon. I miss graphics like that, I mean, that was awesome. Let's hit continue again. Because it tries to page. You know, it only feeds you a page of text. Now, it has no idea what your terminal size is. But it, you know, figures that you probably rang an 80 by 24 screen, because that was the most common, or 80 by 25. <laughs> 80 by 24 being the more common, because you usually had a status bar at the bottom. Now, this terminal program doesn't have that, but it's still eating the last line for whatever reason. I don't know why. And it wants me to fill out my registration... Um, yeah, but we're just going to go ahead and stop the video now. The point being is you can connect to a BBS in 2014, damn it.